Zenvo Aurora Quad Turbo. Zenvo has ushered in a new era of hypercars by introducing its latest model, the Aurora, which combines hybrid technology with a custom V12 engine. While Zenvo has been in the industry since 2004, it wasn't until recently that they ventured into street-legal cars with the TSRS and TSR GT models. These vehicles boasted impressive specs, rivaling even the Bugatti Chiron Supersport. So what are some of the features that we should expect from the Zenvo Aurora? And does this car deserve the hype it has been given? During the Monterey Car Week, the Danish automaker unveiled its latest creation, the Aurora. This striking coupe marks the brand's third model and is notable for being the first to feature a V12 engine under the hood. Named after the captivating natural light phenomenon, Aurora Borealis, this hypercar represents the pinnacle of the brand's performance. In the world of hypercars, impressive numbers are the only thing that matters, and Zenvo's latest model is no different. The company asserts that its designers didn't set out to achieve specific performance figures, instead, they concentrated on creating the best car possible and allowed the remarkable figures to naturally emerge as a result of their efforts. Exterior Design The Aurora is available in two variants, Agile and Tur, named after the Danish words for Agile and Touring. Agile focuses on aerodynamic enhancements for optimal track performance, while Tur is designed for high-speed capabilities and incorporates two extra electric motors at the front for added power. Both versions employ a carbon fiber monocoque and body panels, showcasing design cues reminiscent of previous Zenvo models. Additionally, the Aurora's design draws inspiration from the Aston Martin Valkyrie, featuring open sections in the front to facilitate airflow, and hints of McLaren's design elements can also be observed. At the front, you'll notice slim daytime running lights and relatively compact headlights. The channels around the monocoque chassis reveal the suspension and steering components, along with a front diffuser inspired by Formula One. Many of these components are intentionally exposed and integrated into the overall design, similar to how high-end wristwatches and superbikes showcase their intricate workings. Moving along the sides, it resembles other carbon fiber monocoque cars, such as the Aston Martin Valkyrie and McLaren Senna, sporting a streamlined roofline and butterfly doors. Additionally, there are aerodynamic features to enhance airflow around the sides and cabin. The rear of the car exudes a serious vibe. It includes air channels directing air to the massive rear diffuser, which is noteworthy in size. Above it, there's a substantial rear wing equipped with an air brake. The exhaust system boasts four outlets. On the other hand, the Tour version opts for a cleaner look without extravagant wings or fins, similar to the contrast between a Porsche 911 GT3 Touring and the regular 911 GT3. This sleeker design enhances its suitability for high-speed performance, making the most of the potent engine power. Interior Design The interior of this car boasts some unique features. The cabin can accommodate two people, but your passenger won't find many luxury amenities in the Agile version. The seats are essentially cushions attached to the carbon fiber frame designed for a more immersive experience of feeling the engine vibrations. The pedals are adjustable for reach. To ensure even the smallest passengers can access all controls, most are conveniently placed on the steering wheel or near the center console with overhead window switches. Surprisingly, there are no digital screens. Instead, the car relies on completely analog cages. However, there are smart features incorporated as well. When you signal a lane change using buttons on the steering wheel, either the left or right gauge pod can swivel 180 degrees to display a screen showing a blind spot camera image. Incoming calls cause the left gauge pod to reveal a phone pairing screen for accepting calls, while the right one can show various data like tire pressures and brake temperatures. When these alternative screens are active, the analog gauge information is also displayed graphically around the edges. Engine and Performance this hypercar features a unique and exceptionally powerful V12 engine, which was custom built by Mayhill, a German supplier. This engine stands out due to its unusual 90-degree bank angle, primarily designed to accommodate a hot V configuration. In this setup, the exhaust plumbing and four small, quick-spooling turbos are nestled within the valley of the V shape. This innovative design has broader applications, as Mayhill can use much of it in the development of 90-degree V8 and V6 engines in the future. Zenvo might consider purchasing some of these engines for their upcoming line of junior hypercars, expected to be priced around $1.5 million and set for release in 2027 or 2028. Unlike traditional methods where engines run rich to use unburnt fuel for cooling the turbos and other components, this system allows the engine to maintain a stoichiometric air fuel ratio under all conditions. This practice has passed under the Euro 7 emissions regulations, which is a significant factor behind the phasing out of large, high powered engines as it helps ensure compliance with stricter emission standards. The outcome is a powerhouse of an engine, delivering a staggering 1,250 horsepower and 885 pound feet of torque. 
This marks a substantial leap from the Pagani Huayra's 819 horsepower and 553 pound-feet and the Ferrari 812 Competizione's 830 horsepower and 510 pound-feet, both of which utilize naturally aspirated V12 engines. It's also noteworthy compared to twin-turbo W12 engines with the Bentley Batour's 740 horsepower and 738 pound-feet as the highest benchmark. The Agile will utilize a single electric motor positioned between the engine and the automated 7-speed single-shaft sequential manual transmission. On the other hand, the Tour will come equipped with two additional motors powering the front wheels, which enhances torque distribution for improved performance and handling. The specific design and details of the motors have not been released, but there were considerations for using both axial flux and radial flux with surface mount magnets. The target for each motor is to generate 200 horsepower. This adds up to a total projected output of either 1,450 horsepower and 1,033 pound-feet of torque, or 1,850 horsepower and 1,254 pound-feet of torque, depending on the configuration. The rear-wheel drive Agile model by Zenvo is expected to accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds, reach 125 miles per hour in 4.6 seconds, and achieve 186 miles per hour in 10 seconds. Its top speed, with the aerodynamic wings adjusted for lower downforce, is estimated to be 227 miles per hour. Opting for the all-wheel drive version shaves 0.2 seconds off the 62 miles per hour time and a full second off the dash to 186 miles per hour. It can reach 248 miles per hour in just 17 seconds. As for the Tour, with its sleeker body design, it claims an impressive top speed of 280 miles per hour. It's worth noting that Zenvo isn't primarily focused on setting Nürburgring lap time records. Their cars, including the Agile, are designed to be incredibly fast, yet still practical and enjoyable for regular driving. Aerodynamics Zenvo employs some clever aerodynamic strategies in the design of their hypercar. Notably, you won't find a large extractor for radiator airflow at the front. This omission is because Zenvo discovered that hot air flowing over the roof interfered with the wing's functionality. Instead, the hot radiator air is channeled to merge with the air flowing through the inner channels near the front wheels. The combined airflow creates a suction effect. The pattern of this airflow influenced the wavy shape of the air deflectors just behind the doors. Additionally, the suspension control arms are designed with an aerodynamic profile and where they penetrate the bodywork, there are small features to direct the air. At the rear, air entering through the roof inlet serves the purpose of cooling the intercoolers nestled in the valley and guides cooling air around the turbos. This airflow then exits through various rear vents and is also directed around the four tailpipes, which are styled to resemble the tail of a superbike. These aerodynamic innovations contribute to the car's overall performance and efficiency. Price and release date. The Zenvo Aurora Agile and Tour will have a limited production run of just 50 units each, beginning in 2026 at the company's facility in Presto, Denmark. The base price for either model will start at approximately $2.82 million. Buyers of the Agile will have the option to choose to add the front motors for an extra $217,500. Zenvo's combination of a brand new emissions compliant V12 engine and cutting edge technology is an exciting prospect for enthusiasts. That's all from this video. What do you think of this masterpiece from Zenvo? And do you like the display style of this machine? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. See you in the next one.